Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Jatus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add payment gateway. So how do you accept payments in your Wix website? Before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we add our payment gateway here? Well, the first thing you need to do here is you need to access your editor. So in this case, either the, in the setup or homepage here, click on edit site at the top right. And from here, what we need to do is we need to search an app that we could install for us to add a payment gateway. So what we need to do is we need to choose the option that says plus or add element here. And what we need to do is we need to add an app. So you could go ahead and click on the search at the top right of the add element section. And from here, we just need to type in the following, which is going to be PayPal. Just press on enter. Now it should search for different apps that you could use for your uh, payment. In this case, we'll be using the PayPal button here. Let's go ahead and click on open. Now, what we need to do is we need to install this one. So in this case, let's just wait for it to load up. And what we need to do is we just need to click on add to site here. And from here, let's go ahead and click on agree and add. And it should now be added into our website. As you can see, the PayPal button has now been added in to our website. It might take some time to load up, but once it's actually loaded up, you could go ahead and reposition them in whatever location you want to. Now, in this case, maybe I want to position them in the bottom section here. Now, in this case, you can make this a lot bigger or longer if you want to. And yeah, so in this case, if you want to edit the actual widget, you could go and click on the settings option here. And you could just basically customize the different elements here. Like for example, the same template here. So if you want to basically use, choose the buy now or the donate or subscription button here, you can go and choose that. But for now, let's go and choose the donate button as an example. And we now need to go to settings. In this case, all we need to do is we need to connect our payment account. So in this case, you could go and click on this one. And from here, you just need to add your PayPal account email. Now, if you don't have one, you can go and create via the link that they provide here. Now, if you have like Stripe, uh, Stripe account, you can even link them in here. And if you want to accept offline payments, so give buyers an option to pay you in some other way, you can go ahead and enable that as well. Now, in this case, uh, if you want to edit the payment notifications, you can go ahead and do that. So for example, uh, send payment notifications to the following um, uh, email if you want to. Like for example, you have a separate email for notifications whenever you make sales, so you can go ahead and do that as well. Also have the autoresponder email, which in this case, whenever someone actually completes a successful uh, uh, payment, they will be able to, or this app will be able to actually um, send an automatic email thanking them with their purchase. So in this case, you go and click on the customized autoresponder email here, and you should be able to edit the actual email that will be sent out. Now, now in this case, although the app is actually pretty simple, they actually offer a lot of features here as well. So as you can see, uh, you can go ahead and start adding your text, adding dividers, images, or even text if you want to. So you can go ahead and click on them and just add the text or change the text, even change the font for it, the line height and whatnot. So once you're done, you can go ahead and click on save at the top right to save your changes and that should be now added. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and go back. Now, we also have the redirect after payment. So for example, if someone actually completes a payment here, they will be, they, you have the option to actually redirect them to a specific website. Like for example, if you want to show them a uh, website or a special website, you can go ahead and add the website here as well for them to actually view. You also have the Google Tag Manager here if you want to, but this is a pro feature. So if you want to access it, you could go ahead and basically uh, upgrade your plan here. But in this case, we could actually use this for free. Now we also have the product here, which in this case, by default, it's going to be donate since we chosen donate here. Donation name is donation. Uh, you could go ahead and edit whatever here and the donation amount, you could even uh, change that if you want to the dollars or the uh, currency that you could add in here, the uh, default quantity, uh, product options if you want to, like add product options if you want to use that. But by default, you need to have the starter feature for it to access that. Now, obviously there's going to be a lot of things that you could do here. So in this case, uh, you have the design here to choose from and even remove the POWR branding. But then again, you need to have an upgrade plan for you to use that. Also have other apps here that is related to the people button here. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So you just need to customize your people button here and you should be good. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.